Thanks for joining us for our Tantrum House crowdfunding conniption. Today we're talking about Run, Run, Run from 25th Century Games. <laughs> Hey gang, thanks for joining us at Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. 25th Century Games is bringing Run, Run, Run to Kickstarter. This game is from designers Bruno Catala and Anthony Perone with artwork from Camille Chassi. This is a cooperative tile game where players are trying to defeat the mummies before escaping the dark passages of the Pyramid of the Cursed Pharaoh. Now we've got a prototype copy here to check out, so let's take a look at how it's played. To set up the game, give each player their character and room tiles for your player count. Lay out the pharaoh's vault, tokens, and mummies, select the difficulty of the boss, and then you're ready to begin. During each player's turn, the mummies will first get a turn, and the mummy dice are rolled. If a mummy is rolled, all the mummies move, and a heart is added to the yet-to-be-awakened mummy. The player will decide to either explore, fight, or cooperate, and then draw a tile at the end of their turn. To explore, they will place a tile, move there, and light the room using a torch. Some rooms, like the sarcophagus, will give a benefit. If you're able to get three identical symbols together, your cat venturer party will gain five torches. If you get three different symbols together, you will unlock a door mechanism. Three are needed to awaken the boss mummy. If a mummy's heart meter is entirely filled, then it awakens and begins looking for the pharaoh's treasure. Players may now use their turn to fight. They will discard room tiles, and each door passage will gain them a die to be used in the attack. If a question mark is rolled, the player may use their special cat venturer ability. Play continues, and if all of the mummies, including the boss, have been eliminated, the players win. 20th Century Games is bringing Run 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 to the U.S. on Kickstarter now, so be sure to check it out. This is a family weight game, plays for one to four players, it takes about 30 minutes, and in the game you are a team of cat venturers who are trying to survive the oncoming horde of dog mummies. Oh, those called dummies? I don't know what those are called. But they're trying to get you. You're trying to get Pharaoh's treasure. Are you trying to get Pharaoh's treasure? They're trying to get, everybody's trying to get Pharaoh's treasure. You're just trying to survive. Well, you were there, and now you're on your way out. And you have to make it out. You're trying to get out of the cursed pyramid, but the mummies are coming up and trying to get to the pharaoh that will unleash this awful curse on all of mankind. It's always got to be a terrible curse that's trying yes. to get you. I don't know what's happening. There's yeah. a lot of different things you can do in the game. You are playing out the tiles for the most part, trying to build a longer path because the mummies are going to be trying to get to the pharaoh using whatever the shortest path is. Mm -hmm. And so the more tiles that you can lay down to make that path longer, the better chance you have of stopping them before they get to the pharaoh's tile. Yep. The one action I, we didn't quite explain so far when we went over the rules is the cooperate action. And this is kind of used if you really need to regroup your adventurers or if you're kind of in a tight spot. So that allows everyone to regroup onto one tile together where somebody's located and you'll get to draw one of the special regroup tokens that will give your group some benefits and then it also allows you to trade um, or swap some of the room tiles. So if somebody yeah. needs something else or it's going to be their turn and you need to help each other out, um, that is available since this is a cooperative game. Otherwise, um, there's a little restriction on how you're allowed to move and how you're allowed to um, fight the mummies. Right, so you are going to be moving potentially up to three spaces, otherwise you're going to have to start spending your tiles, and you've also got to have torches to be able to light the way. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the interesting things in the game is that you start off with five tiles in your hand, and you're going to draw one at the end of every turn. However, when you fight a mummy, you're going to be spending those tiles, and each of the open doorway paths is going to give you another die to be able to fight against them with. So sometimes you're going to, like, we need to kill this mummy, we got to stop him before he gets there, i got to spend basically every tile i got in my hand. Now I've got zero tiles and she's got seven because her special power gave her extra ones so there is that need to cooperate uh, in the game your communication is kind of limited you're allowed to talk about what your intentions are and things but you're not supposed to say what tiles you have because the meat of the game is trying to get those three tile combinations so that you can either unlock the boss mummy or so you can gain more torches to explore further yes those mummies that come out, they all have a little bit different ability. So um, you're going to shuffle the four that come in the game, and whenever one unlocks, you'll place it on the path. And then the 
hearts that you gain then when you roll the money mummy dice every turn those are going to go on the next one and we're just going to keep cycling through that stack of mummies hopefully eliminating them and also trying to unlock all the door mechanisms for the boss to appear and the boss is tricky there is a nice um, set up mode where you can make choose whichever boss that you'd like so you can pay, play one that's a little easier if you want to have a little more casual fun time maybe with some younger kids you can make it a lot more difficult you can also ramp up the difficulty level for how to unlock the boss monster by instead of having just three door mechanisms you could have up to five so your team would really need to strategize and work together well to be able to beat the most difficult boss with the five um, door mechanisms. Yeah, yeah. There's a nice range of gameplay. There's a nice range to uh, just the the variety of tiles that you're going to get in your hand and the order that people are going to play them in. Sometimes you're going to breeze right through it and not have any problem. Sometimes it's just going to be difficult due to the luck of the deal. And because if players aren't paying attention, they can miss opportunities to unlock those things and, and gain more things for the team. Yeah, and there's also a little bit of luck involved because you're going to be rolling dice for the mummy's turn every every player's turn and then also when you fight you're not guaranteed to attack really heavily each time. This looks like something that you'd be interested in definitely check out Run 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 on Kickstarter now from 25th Century Games and as always thank you guys for tuning in following our videos and checking out everything we got going on here at Tantrum House. We explained how to play the game. Yeah. Who are trying to survive the horde of dog mummies. I don't know what they're called. Dummies. <laughs> huh? That was a good joke. You should have gone from there.